Jerome Harden Studios. Um, this is not a newscast. This is a uh, up, uh, announcement for an upcoming video um, about Dylan Landing because I have found some very interesting stuff that you may want to look at. Um, where I am right now, um, this is the west end of the uh, US 231 bridge. If you don't know where that is, um, it's located in Huntsville, Alabama. It's in the very south end of Huntsville, actually. Um, but let me go show you around. And um, if you plan to travel this way or you don't know what that is, this is where um, if you come across that bridge in their landing where there used to be cars um, going from from place to place. Um, and if you go to your left, you will find this road right here. Um, pretty much what it looks like is very abandoned. Um, I think some vehicles or trucks go through here all the time. Um, I think it's uh, a little underused because, uh, as you can see here, there's a lot of puddles. Um, there's a lot of holes um, on this uh, little drive-through right here. So, you, if you plan on driving through um, through this area, you might want to take an extra little caution because. Um, Sometimes it can be a bit wet or if you do not have good tires, then it's a pretty high chance that you will get stuck and It's gonna be difficult for a tow truck driver to get here and this is gonna cost you a lot of money I learned that one time, but anyways um, Let me show you where I am um, This is the uh, south end of, south end of Huntsville um, I don't know if it's Huntsville or not, but around here you can see a lot of abandoned places. You can find a lot of trash down here. Um, you can find abandoned boats. And you can find a lot of uh, openings where you can have picnics. You can have lunches. But, you know, it may not be a pretty scene because of all that trash around here. And I pledged myself one day that I'm going to clean it up and, you know, make it look pretty for, you know, so more, it'll attract more visitors. But, you know, um, it may, I may not, people may not know who I am or who did it, but, you know, um, I'm going to be uh, posting it in a group on, I'm going to be posting it on Facebook and on YouTube as well. But, you know, as most of you know that I won't be posting all my videos on Facebook anymore. I'll be posting it mostly on YouTube. So, yeah, this is the bridge right here that I was talking about. Um, so, yeah, people are heading out to uh, heading out to, heading home from work, and um, after you get off this bridge right here, as you can see, like um, this is US 231 right here. But, you know, the main road uh, a little bit to the south is closed because of a recent landslide that we had. Um, I've been hearing about, I've been reading about it a lot. You know. And people, <coughs> and people saying it's going on, going on for years that you know it has a major uh, landslide, it has a big spring running under the road. I don't know why they would consider it now to fix it after all these years. They should have been taking care of it a long time ago. So, yeah. And this is a nice little area right here where you can have lunch, you can hang out, you can you know have barbecues and stuff. But you know, just be careful on if you. Uh, plan to start a fire or a campfire or whatever to do to take care of yourself because you know <coughs> hazards can happen any day at any time you know like say for instance if we have a lot of um dry red weather here um and you know you start a fire i mean that's a high risk because you know see all these weeds uh see all these trees i mean what if this all this stuff is dry right now i mean so and you know this is like a nice little area for a house right here uh, and all these wirings and stuff what's this right here hmm. lost camera reward four five seven zero nine seven eight hmm. who had lost the camera around here and there's another area right here uh, but, you know, again, it's very trashy. You know, you know, Deer Lane is like a kind of a nice place, but, you know, uh, the back areas right here, um, besides Deer Landing, you know, that's where people uh, do drugs. Uh, 
they get drunk, they hang out, you know, they do a lot of weird shit around here. <sighs> yeah. yeah, so, just me taking the walk, I mean, I could have walked further than I have to, but, you know, the reason I'm taking out this camera, um, because, uh, I wanted to show you guys, um, that, uh, I was, uh, talking to myself one day that I'm going to do a whole presentation on did landing um I'm not remember if I'm on YouTube I'm not doing this for the money I'm not doing it for fame I'm not doing it for anything I'm just you know making YouTube videos for fun you know what I'm saying because um and there's another opening right here let's see what we have here um you know what is this hole right here and you know this is a nice little area right here where you can have lunch right here so um, yeah we're six minutes into this video now um so and uh you see this got this gate uh gate is closed right here um i wonder if you can open it uh and does it have a no it doesn't have a Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, no, it does not open. Okay. Well, uh, last time I was here, it was open all the way. Um. But now that I've gone around it, um. Yeah. So, you see, like, it could have been nice uh, other areas where you can hide out. <laughs> You know, if you're on the run or something. But, unfortunately, if you're on the run, you know, hopefully no one will recognize you or find you out here. So, and we're about to be at the end of this pathway right here. I did not, re I did not discover this pathway until a while back. Um, while, remember, I told you, like, um, I was doing all my graphic design work mostly down here if it's a sunny sky or if it's warm or if it's not raining or you know just whatever you know if you uh, need to meditate do some work or instead of being inside all day you know with around with a lot of people or doing stuff like that Dillane is the perfect place for you I mean I would have gone to the Gunnersville Lake but you know I haven't been there for a while I remember I go there during the summertime. So and plus, um, it's a it's very convenient um, if you live in Huntsville. Um, that way you can have some of the amenities that uh, the lake has. Um, so um, remember, Diddlandy has uh, great campgrounds too, um, and you know there's like a lot of abandoned places you know that you can explore um and you know and this is the abandoned bridge uh, right here that i was talking about the other day and i'm gonna you know get my crew and uh explore this all these places i'm gonna tell people about it too so you know you know that's gonna be a very interesting video like this is not the main video that I'm going to be doing. This is like the uh, the uh, the announcement. This is this video is the announcement of what I'm planning to do around this area. So, and one of them is my car right there. I just can't. Customers is now texting me um, because I have a design that I have yet to deliver, and I'm about to do that right now. I'm finished, almost finished with it. He just wanted to know the update. So this is the other side of the main highway bridge that we just came from.
nice places, nice trees, nice area. Yeah, it's just like the uh, what the background of the area is. So, and hopefully, um, I hope you enjoy uh, this little presentation. And hopefully, on the next one, one hit on this area is it's going to be really big. It's going to be really powerful that you know what I'm going to be talking about. So, stay tuned for this update. And uh, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I am out. Peace. See you next time.